I have an amazing team. I have Marco Irby, who's my artistic director. He is in charge of the imagery of the show, how it works, the costuming, uh, the design of the presentation, how the presentation is going to look. He's also a hairdresser, so he helps me when we're designing our hair ideas. So the two of us work very closely together. My business partner, Susan Callahan, we've been together 27 years now, 28 years, and she administrates my business from all over the world. So she's the touchstone into the Patrick Cameron uh, business. And then I have Marco Everard, so two Marcos, I know, amazing, isn't it? Marco Everard, and Marco Everard is in charge of all the merchandise, the books, the school, the academy, uh, everything from hair pads to long hair kits. So he does all of that. And then I have two beautiful, identical twins that I work with, and they are my choreographers, and I fly them all over the world to do shows with me. I'll take one for one show and one for another show, then they cross over and I zip them around all over the world. And they now run a very successful model agency here in London. And so now they supply all the models for my photo shoots and my shows through their agency. And I've been with the girls now. Uh, they were started with me when they were 15 and they're now 43. Yeah, I believe in building relationships. I believe in getting the best people around you to support you and for me to support them. It's very much a team effort. Um, I think our business is forever changing. It's very exciting. Our, our days are always different. You know, one minute we're here, next minute we're there. We're doing lots of different things. And I think also our, our key to our success is I cannot do what Marco Irby does. Marco can't do what Sue does. Sue can't do what Marco Everard does, you know, and vice versa. And nor do we want to. So I think we have four very different uh, processes that we do things at with the choreographers and ourselves. So, yeah, it, it works really well that way, I think. I think there has to be a lot more negotiation. I think we have to look at the young people coming in and we have to be able to sit down and have a dialogue. What do you need? We need the young person to be honest about what they need. You need the employer to be honest about what they need. There's a middle ground. There is always a middle ground. And for an example, if someone's coming in as, a, as, a, as an employer, you should be able to offer incentives whether those are financial or whether those are educational, offer incentives. Make sure that there's a, a plan in place that over a course of a year, you're going to do X amount of courses or you're going, to, you're going to be able to achieve this or that. So it's about goals and finding those goals and bringing them together. So I think an employer has to be a lot more focused on what they're offering the younger hairdressers coming through and the younger hairdressers have to learn to ask for what they want.